back to my channel. So today is actually Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. Hello, good morning, good night, wherever you are in this world. So you guys know whenever I make videos, it's always because I either have a message on my heart that I have to share with you guys, and it's actually like 10.30 in the morning. I'm noticing now about me, like I'm an early bird now. Like I love to wake up and start my day, like take my shower, and this video is basically going to be about um, some things I feel, you know, a lot of people should, you know, take heave in, um, you know, because I suffer from it as well. You know, I want to give like five, you know, things that, you know, you should really always protect in your life to keep your life like positive, you know, happy, healthy. You know, um, so yeah, I just had a message on my heart. I had to share it. It's going to be a short video. It's not going to be long. I always say that and it should be mad long. But anyway, so I wanted to talk about some ways you can really protect your mental health, your physical health, your well-being. Listen, like I told you guys in previous videos, it's like the older I get, the more, you know, advanced like I'm becoming and knowing my body and knowing what my body wants and how much I can tolerate. And, you know, I think that's something to really like look into because for me, I feel like lately I've been all about protecting my, my peace. Like, I feel like if you're negative, I don't want you around me. If you're a person who's always like loud and, you know, you're, you're not really, you know, benefiting me, like I don't want you around me. So I would say, for me, one thing, these are just my things that I do, and hopefully, you know, if you can relate, comment down below. So one thing that I normally try to do to protect myself peace is I back away. I feel like if I'm in a situation where I kind of feel like I'm not, you know, being my best self, I have to leave. And it doesn't matter if it's a job, a you know, a situation that you at a party, you here, you there, wherever you are, if your spirit is not sitting right with something, then you have to go. And this takes me back to the job that I just um, left from because it was really bringing me down mentally and it was bringing me down physically. And I just couldn't take that. You know, when you're a happy person and you're a calm and humble person, you know, anything negative that really comes into your life, it kind of disrupts your life. And it comes to a point where you can't really ignore the negative that's going around you because, you know, you yourself, and, and you know, sometimes I'm not saying life is going to be, you know, happy-go-lucky all the time. Like, I'm going to have, you know, bad days, worse days, or whatever. But I'm saying if I had to, you know, come to an environment where I just didn't feel comfortable it was just time for me to go. And, you know, my heart and my spirit was telling me, like, Brina, you have to go. I didn't argue with it. And, you know, I told you guys previously, like, I knew I had bills. I knew I had this. I knew I had that. But at the end of the day, my heart and my spirit wasn't in it anymore. And it was like I was waking up so depressed from it. And, and I didn't like that feeling. Every day I was coming home with a headache and I had, like, neck pain, like, from stress and stuff. And I just could not deal with that. So I would say back away from anything that, you know, you feel is not bringing you happiness. Also, another thing that I do to protect myself peace is uh, I go for walks. I'm telling you, it's something about going for a walk that will change your whole mood. Like, like I said, I'm one of those people now. I like to get up early. Literally right now is Tuesday, December 14th. Right now, I'm doing some um, little clearances or whatever before I can start work or whatever. So hopefully, I'll be in work like next week or whatever. Um, not saying too much about that. I got a job and that's just what it is. So um, yeah, I just been going for walks. I've been taking, I took like two little weeks off ever since I left the other job. And I just been really collecting myself and, you know, just really getting back to my happy self. And I it made me realize that when I was at that job, I was not happy. And I actually remember talking to my cousin on Thanksgiving and she was asking me like, how is the new job going? And I was just like, it's going, you know, I don't like it, but you know, I had to, you know, suck it up because it was a job, but it became to a point where I shouldn't have to, you know, suck it up or I shouldn't have to be quiet about a place where I don't feel comfortable, whether it be a workspace or not. Like if I'm not happy, I'm not happy. So, you know, I'm learning to also listen to my heart. And when my heart tells me I'm not happy, then I'm genuinely just not happy about it. And, you know, um, 
yeah going for a walk will definitely change your mood definitely try to throw some um some clothes on take your shower do what you gotta do to get yourself in an upbeat mood so number two would be i go for walks um number three what i normally do i love to sit by the water you know nature is god's natural gift for medicine trust me it's something about that shit as well i let me tell you something there was one time this summer 2021 that i went to the beach and i went by myself i didn't go with my boyfriend i didn't go with nobody i i was just going through so much that i just sat by the water and just like sat on the sand and it was just so therapeutic i had my music in i watched the waves like it was really therapeutic i'm telling you i <laughs> that shit makes me feel a thousand times better um number four would have to be basically just take your time don't let nobody pressure you or don't let nobody make you feel like the decisions you make for yourself is wrong because it's not meeting up to their expectations and i had to realize that too you know anything that i want to do in my life and anything that i feel is right for my heart and my soul if i feel like doing it i'm gonna do it you know always take other people's opinions you can do that but the most important thing that you you know should always remember go with your first instincts and go with your gut whatever your heart is telling you you should do you know i have people in my life that do that you know you tell them certain things and you know they feel as if you're not doing it their way it's not a good way for you to do it and that's not a way for nobody to live everybody has their own unique way why do you think God made us individually different? Because everybody has a gift that somebody else doesn't have. Or, you know, um, how would I put it? Just don't let people pressure you or make you feel bad for taking care of yourself. That's what I would say. If you have to say no to going out to certain things or if you have to say no to doing certain things, then you just say no. It's your life. You decide how you want your life to go. You decide how much you know, you take from a person in your life. You know, only you can decide how your day will go. You know what I'm saying? Like, every day you wake up is a new chance. You know what I'm saying? So I'm starting to not let people determine my happiness and what they feel I should be doing. Not to let people make you feel like you're doing something wrong for, you know, taking care of yourself. And my last thing would have to be find ways to de-stress. Let me tell you something. I am a proud believer that... This I'm about to show you. This candle here, stress relief, the eucalyptus mint by aromatherapy. Let me tell you something about this candle. This is the most fresh, relaxing scent you will ever smell in your life. And if you're a person who loves like pepperminty type of eucalyptus mint, eucalyptus minty smell, then you're gonna love this smell here. This smell puts me in such a happy place. I got this candle actually around my birthday last year. Bath and Body Works was having like a little sale. I think you, the wick, this was the wick candle, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's called wick. Originally, this is $14.50. You know, my camera's bugging. Y'all can't see the little price. But it's $14.50, it say. But originally, I paid like five. These were on sale for like five fifty or something like that. So I bought one. Me and my boyfriend was in um, King's Plaza and I was like, babe, like I gotta have that candle. And he bought it for me. So, you know, it's a little burnt out a little bit, the smell. But no, that smell is there. Even when, I'm going to tell you something. Don't, don't, don't call me weird. When I feel like overwhelmed, this smell calms me down. I don't know what it is about this smell, but it kind of smells like winter, happy, good, calm. It just smells like, wow, like it smells good. So, um sometimes like when i'm feeling like overwhelmed and they actually have the mist the spray i'm gonna actually do like a little video a stress relief video i'm gonna go to bath and body works one day not sure which day and i'm gonna pick up a little bit of their line i had the lotion like this before i think i mentioned it in my other videos i had the lotion and i had the body wash it was really good and that actually you know i have pressure and stuff on my back so it actually helped like with the pressure of my back but this smell is really fresh it's really stress relieving, trust me. What I normally do sometimes, like even when I come home from work, I burn this or I take me a nice shower and I put the candle like in the shower and with the steam, the smell just, ugh, it just takes me away to a place, I'm telling you. But this is nice, I like this. But sometimes I just sniff it just to get the whiff of it. 
but um those are some things that you know i do to work on my self peace and myself you know calmness whatever you want to call it so i hope you guys you know have any you know ways that you you know de-stress and you try you know to live your life to its fullest always remember don't let nobody change who you are don't let you know a situation define who you are don't let you know a person make you feel like you're less of a person because you're always more than that um it goes back to like i said lifestyle on this channel take care of yourself Really take care of yourself. I don't care if you're dealing with family. If you got to cut people off in your family, you just got to do what you got to do. If they not bringing you happiness and they trying to define your life by telling you what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, you know, it's time to evaluate some of those things. Um, definitely work on your, your self-peace, protecting your heart. Always protect your heart, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, not sure when I'll post. This video was just on my heart, so I had to record it. So... Be well, be blessed, stay true to yourself, and never let anybody tell you can't do something in life. You have a dream, you go for it, and that's the end of this video, guys. I'm out. Bye.